Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. We did ask everyone at home to try guess what the weight of an adult okay. uh, Grand Horn Wolves because Max cheated and zoomed in on your <laughs> scale so uh, we could see yeah. how much this one weighed. <laughs> Which I think was two points. It was 2.8 in the end. 2.8? Yeah. yeah. So that's just over six pounds. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Six pounds. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Janine said three kgs. For a small adult, yes. A small adult. Yeah. And a big adult? Big adult. I think the biggest we've recorded is about six kilograms. Yeah, so ground hornbills lay two eggs always. Well, not always, most of the time. Um, and they hatch about five days apart. But in those five days, it, the first hatch chick grows considerably. So by the time the second chick hatches, the size difference is massive. So the first hatch chick will be about this big, second hatch chick will be about this big, and the bigger chick just outcompetes the smaller one, and the smaller one just invariably dies in the wild. No. Always. So it doesn't actually, it's not like uh, birds of prey where that the firstborn will actually kill uh, the second yeah, one? Yeah, it's not siblicide, it's just outcompeted, and the chicks actually starve. So for us at Mobula Ground Hornbill Project, we monitor these birds and before that second hatch chick dies, so pretty much as it hatches, we come in and we actually take that chick. And we've got a specialized rearing facility just for ground hornbills and there the chick will be kind of put into the system and it'll be reared for about 80, 90 days, which is generally how long they spend in a nest. Uh, after that they'll be put into aviaries with, with kind of adult birds and they can learn ground hornbill things and then after about a year we artificially form groups again and then release them into areas where they used to occur but have since disappeared and how do you artificially form a form a group since we've been doing that with wild dogs <laughs> this week, it's so a challenge it's, 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 it's always a challenge yeah. especially with, with birds like this each individual has their own personality and things like that so you know it's not just a case of are oh, we going to take this bird and this bird and put them together it's very much you've got to see if they like each other first and don't want to kill each other first um, most of the time with juveniles they are tolerated a little bit more um, but yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a challenge it's it's kind of trial and error with that with that stuff eh? and then carol likes how many made, made nests are currently out in the apnr in the apnr i think we've got about 30 now okay yeah and not all of those are used all the time? Or I'd say about 70% of them okay. are used. Well, thank you guys yeah. for, the, for the donation. No, I'd well, thank the Every, everything goes a long way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we are having a little bit of break up here, guys. And uh, Kyle has got lots to do. I think you've got a few more nests yeah, to check on today. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much for letting us come along and you, witness sir. this. Ah. And oh, watch the thorns. You got me again. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, we will be catching up with Carl throughout the year, so very exciting things and yep. hopefully we'll be able to come have a look at a nest that doesn't have one in or while we're putting up the new nest, so yeah, you can have a quick look at it. But for now, we're going to love you and leave you.